Okay, let's get into it. Davies is an American hip hop artist and rapper from East Harlem, New York. Shout out to New York because that's where I'm from. And I feel like I never have, I never cover enough artists from New York because I'm always covering artists from Canada or Atlanta. But regardless of the fact, he signed to Nas's Mass Appeal record and he has a deal with Def Jam. Now he drops his EP. I know a lot of people were expecting this to be a full length project, but it's not. It's it, it feels like a full length project, but it's not. It's an EP. Now, it's titled Paranoia, a True Story. Let's just get right into the review. So track one, Paranoia, featuring Young Jeezy, produced by Nonstop the Hitman. Now, this song is amazing. I know it's a title track, but it's, it's so good. I love the chorus where he's like, don't talk unless you got a check for me. I don't see no one ahead of me. Like, that whole thing, I love it. It's great, for sure. And he has a couple lines here and there, which are which are the pretty, pretty crazy. He has this line where he's like, and y'all don't get no pussy like Magic Sun. Which is insane. I haven't heard a line that savage in a while. And, and he has another line where he's like, Your wife got caught up in the lies like a deer. I thought that was pretty dope as well. Now, Jeezy also has a verse on this. It features Young Jeezy. Now, Jeezy's verse was solid. I feel like Davies outdid him, definitely. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Jeezy's verse complements the song. So, yeah, that's track one. Track two, They Hated Skit. Now, this just leads up to track three, They Hated which I Which, let's just get into track three, They Hated. Because I don't have really too much to say about the skits. Now... This feature is Nas, and I was expecting Nas to drop a verse on this, but he didn't. Um, it was pretty much like a Nas passing the crown to Davies. Now, this song was produced by JoJo Beats. Now, it's basically about... It's a storytelling track about two drug dealers, which is crazy because it gives that old 90 feel when you had a lot of hip-hop albums that would tell... Like, back when people used to storytell on um, on albums. Like, I know like a lot of older hip-hop art albums you had... You had storytelling about drug dealers, about this guy in love with a girl and the girl not wanting him back and him killing her or something crazy like that. So yeah, this is definitely a storytelling track about two drug dealers and Corey. Now, the chorus the chorus is pretty decent. I love the whole no light up, no light up in the crib. I came up came out the darkness and the they going to hate eight living in a two room apartment. And I thought that was pretty interesting. Now, the chorus was decent. So yeah, decent track for sure. That's track 3. Now we're getting into track four. This track is titled Phone Jumping and it features Wiz Khalifa. It was produced by Rizzi Renegade. Now, I really enjoy the chorus on this. I feel like Davies outwrapped Wiz Khalifa on this again. And I love the chorus. But Wiz Khalifa definitely, um, he didn't get like completely murked. <laughs> uh, Wiz Khalifa had a good cadence and flow. I just feel like Davies' lyrics were better. This one thing I have to say about Davies, he's definitely a talented rapper. Like, he can spit. So that's that's not the problem at all. Now, getting into the song itself, I love the chorus. The chorus is like, you can't imagine. The, the choruses on this project are really good. The whole, you can't imagine the life in the trenches. What you know about trapping and pit. Like, that whole thing is great. Now, he has a line where he's like, my are felons i'm just gonna i'm just gonna use buddy my buddies are felons you buddies are jealous y'all just defining the meaning of broke that whole thing is is great and the cadence on this is great as well so yeah solid track i feel like davies out rap Wiz khalifa on this which i feel like davies out rap everyone on this project but uh solid solid verse from Wiz for sure now track five jazzy interlude produced by butter and grands now who's singing on this can someone please Tell me, I tried looking it up, but I didn't find anything. Who sing on this? Because they have an amazing voice. Now, this interlude features a woman singing. Now, I don't know who the woman is, but she's great. I could probably find it if I go in the writing credits, but she's great. I mean, this song sounds amazing. It doesn't feel like a hip hop song, which I which complements the project so well. I don't like. I know it's a hip hop project, but I don't know why. It just complements the project so well. Because I guess this track comes before like two love songs on the album. So that's probably why it complements so much because it's it's a love song and it's very catchy and it's like a, I love the way you do what you do and that whole thing. So yeah, um, very great placing of this interlude. I feel like this interlude definitely um, definitely complements the album more than the other two skits that we heard. But yeah, it's all a track for sure. I can't wait to find out who that singer is. <laughs> track six, perfect, featuring Chris Brown, produced by The Breed and and a. Deus, excuse me if I pronounce this wrong, but um, now this track was the single of Horus. I thought it was a solid single track. A lot of people thought it was boring, but I didn't think it was too. I didn't think it was boring. Uh, do I think it's for Davies? That's debatable, but I do think it's a solid. It's a solid love song. I mean, it sounds like any other song a very good rapper has dropped about. 
love and had his R&B singer in the chorus. But yeah, I mean, decent, tri decent, decent single for sure. So that's it for track six. Now going into track seven, which is titled "Found a Way" and it was produced by Cash Money AP. Now this song features Jenna Stewart, and this song is basically about Davies has come up in the game and just life in general. Now I love Dana Stewart's voice on this. How she, um, I love her and Davies singing the chorus, which is just "Found a Way." But it, it's very, very, very solid song. Very solid hip hop song. A uh, very good chorus from both. From very good delivery from both uh, Dana Stewart and Davies. So yeah, I like the song. Um, not chorus, I meant bridge. But yeah, very, very solid song. Now we have track eight, "Maneuver" featuring French Montana. And again, this is another track where I feel like Davies outshined French Montana, which is good because you want to outshine the features on your album. You don't want the features on the album to make your project look good, which I think is a problem with French Montana because a lot of songs French has other artists, the other artists out outshined him. AKA the song he has with The Weeknd, AKA No Shopping with Drake, AKA Unforgettable with Sway Lee, etc, etc. I mean, AKA, um, what's that song? Lockjaw with Kodak Black. I, I keep going, but uh, yeah, I feel like it's a problem with French. He gets outshined by his, uh, by his features and whatnot. But yeah, um, the song was produced by Harry Fraud and it's basically about to come up. I feel like French's flow kind of goes off a bit in the second half, but yeah, that's all I have to say. Solid track for sure. Uh, someone edit like French out. No, let me let me stop. All right, track nine, Pops Crazy, another skit. Not too much to say about this. Track ten, My Dirty Little Secret, produced by JoJo Beats. Now, this song I love the instrumental for this. I love the guitar, and I feel like this is better than Perfect. The single, like I feel like this is a better love song than the single Perfect. For sure, maybe because the instrumental sounds a bit better, but yeah, uh, I saw it. Definitely great, great track, beautiful instrumental. I love the opening lines. I can't understand it like it's written in Chinese. It's too hard to read her. Um, I poured an eighth in the leader, knocking Leah. Like those opening lines are great for sure. Track eleven is Kiara's skit. Now it's basically his uh, father and son, like not father and son, excuse me, father and daughter bonding skit, which I thought was, which I thought was really, really great. Um, it leads up to the the following track is Wanna Be Me featuring Jojo Beats and it reminds me of that old uh the game and fifty song where he's like Wanna Be Me, I'm Raps MVP. Like that whole like signature is like is resembled in this track. But yeah, this start track was produced by Jojo Beats. Very good for an ending track. Um that the daughter skit, the Kiara, Kiara skit, excuse me for pronouncing this wrong, definitely complements this well. Now yeah, I mean he has a line on here where he's like riding rentals, riding from riding rentals to more rides than Great Adventure, which I thought was interesting. Now, yeah, track thirteen. Have you ever? It's by JoJo Beats, produced by JoJo Beats and a bunch of other producers. Now, I thought it was pretty dope. I hold the whole verse about his cousin passing away was very interesting. Great, great in the track. That's all I have to say really about that track. Now, this album, where do we go from now? This album is definitely a solid EP. I thought it was great. I thought um, Davies' delivery. I thought the chorus was the choruses and the, like the hip hop songs were really good. Like they were really catchy and really great. Now, where does Davies go from here? He has a debut project, which I'm definitely checking for. I I, I definitely enjoyed this EP. I can't wait to see what he drops next. I can't wait to see how Def Jam handles his debut album with them. So yeah, uh, solid EP. If I had to give it a score, I would give it a high eight out of ten. Uh, but yeah, definitely check it out. I'll put a link to it. It's on its YouTube. Like you don't even if you don't have album music or Spotify or Title or any of the streaming platforms, it's all on YouTube. From his, but make sure you listen to it on his like Davies's Vivo YouTube and not these other people uploading. So it actually gets counts count. It actually gets counted for the streams. And yeah, excuse me. That's all I have to say. Like, comment, subscribe, if you enjoyed the review, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.